Welcome everyone. I'm back again with another video for you guys. So this is going to be a collective read. This is going to be for whoever needs it, okay? Um, the energies can be vice versa. So take what applies and leave what does not, okay? If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here with me today. Um, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. If you are looking to book your very own personal reading, guys, all of that information is going to be in a drop box below, okay? Um, today, guys, I'm going to be working on the goddess oil, okay? The goddess oil, she's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh, she has jasmine in it. Oh, my gosh, she has real flowers, roses. The energy of it is so beautiful, so, so beautiful. So if you are trying to attract beauty and love and do, um, you know, that type of, bring that type of energy towards you, this is going to be the perfect oil for you. Um, she smells beautiful and the energy of it is just very, very much so like God is, okay? As well, guys, um, the money oil is still currently out of stock. It will be back in stock soon. Um, I actually have the batch ready. But I'm not going to put, um, I'm, I'm working solely on the goddess oil this week. So the money oil will probably be back next week, okay? So um, contact me via email if you're interested in pre-ordering. Um, all of that information is going to be below in the drop box, all right? So, um, all, oh, as well, as personal reading, guys, for new uh, clients only, I'm running a sale, okay, for $22.22. .22. You guys could get a mini read, okay? A mini read is going to be five plus cards. Um, and, you know, we'll get the, to the bottom of it. It does come with a free yes or no question, okay? So you're going to get five cards spread as well as a free yes or no, okay? So let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. We're going to see, um, we're going to see how you feel about your person and how your person feels about you um and then we're going to pull a story together all right so like i said um take what applies and leave what does not okay because this is going to be a collective read it's going to be for more than one sign okay so take what you can and leave the rest if it does not resonate check your moon and your rising and your venus signs okay um let's hop into it let's see how your how your person feels about you, the person that you're thinking about feels about you, and let's see how you feel about them. We're going to see how they feel about you first, okay? Show me, show me my collective's uh, person's feelings. Show me their feelings towards my collective. All right, so we got worth waiting for, okay? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we got you deserve love. Okay, so maybe they feel like you deserve more. Maybe they feel like you are very lovable. Like, you know, um, I'm getting that there may have been a separation period we got retreat here, um, or you guys have spent some alone time together, because I got heart-to-heart -heart conversation as well, heart-to-heart -heart conversation very soon, and it is safe for you to love, okay? So some, if you guys haven't had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, I feel like one is getting ready to, to approach, and you guys are going to spend some alone time together, but after a period of time, and they're going to be feeling like, you know what, that was so worth the wait. It was worth it. Damn it, it was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Well, while I'm already here, let's go ahead and see how you feel about this person. We'll do it together like that. Damn, y'all got somebody feeling like, ooh. That was sure worth it. That was worth it. Divine timing is at work in you guys' love life. Okay. Oh, you feel like this person is your true love? 
We got this is the romance of a lifetime. Okay, so the love is there. The love is real. Okay. Yeah, you feel like this person is your soulmate. I got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Our, your bond deepens, okay? So you guys could be getting a deeper connection with this person. Or this person is expressing themselves to you. This person, oh, wow. We got a colony or soulmate and passion, okay? So you want to um, have some intimate moments with them. You've been calling them in. Some of y'all have been doing love spells. Some of y'all have been using your prayers and affirmations to bring you two back together, so I feel like you're getting ready to know this person on a deeper level. I feel like, yeah, things are about to get deep, deeper. <laughs> I feel like for you, you feel like this person, you truly care about this person, you truly love this person. And you feel like this person is your soulmate. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Baby. Okay. Give me some more insight on how they feel about my collective. How do they feel about my collective? It's, I'm getting like there's a mutual energy between you two at this time. Yeah, I'm really getting it. I'm getting that. There's a mutual energy. Okay, so... How do they feel about... Give me three cards. Okay, we got justice. How do they feel? All the judgment. Okay. <laughs> All right. And the high priestess. Wow. Okay, so what I'm gathering here, what I'm gathering here is at the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Swords. So your person is really, really in their head, okay? They're in their head. They're thinking. They may be feeling trapped in, um, in their head, like their thoughts, okay? It took a long time. For this person to come to this realization, they took their time, okay? Not of Pentacles, they took their time and they planned how they were going to come towards you. The offer may have, you know, be like a small offer, but I feel like to you, it means so much more, okay? Yeah, see, we got the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment, and then we got the Six of Cups, okay? So this person definitely wants to rekindle with you. This person has been thinking about the past, thinking about memories with you. And I feel like this person is just like, wants a second chance with you. Now with the judgment card here, well, justice came out first, okay? Um, they want to balance things out. Um, they do feel like there are some things that need some issues that could be or needs to be resolved this person could be dealing with karma as well oh these are this is this is something major because i just realized that this is three major arcana cards we got the high priestess the justice and the judgment so there's just like some wake a big wake up call okay this person is going through an awakening or a wake up call okay for sure, for sure. Um, wow. The high priestess. Okay. Let me, let's clarify. Why is justice here? This is something big. Yeah. And the star card, another major icona. Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But maybe they're hoping that you feel the same way. Okay. I feel like this person has been... Uh, communicating with you also spying um trying to get you to make up your mind i feel like that you guys may have been on a break a separation and i feel like now this person yeah i'm getting like this person 
has been planning this, has been planning this, been planning this, okay? Um, wow. Okay, why is the star card here? I'm getting like they hope you feel the same way. Why is the star card here? The page of swords. Okay, they hope that you're that you notice. Oh, okay. They're dropping something. They're dropping a third party, or they they're dropping friends or people that's you know, they're dropping something. Okay. Yeah, something is ended. Okay. They're they've dropped something for this second chance with you. And I feel like this is someone from your past. Okay, they didn't know how to express themselves before. Okay, they didn't know how to express themselves. They weren't sure that you were going to even accept their offer. They felt like this chapter was closed. And I feel like once you made them feel like this chapter was closed, they came running back. Because we got the Knight of Swords and the Tower. Okay, so the Tower and the Knight of Swords, something happened like abruptly. Like this was something that... Um, this tower moment was a wake up call. I'm getting that this was a wake up call. I feel like you had them wondering if you moved on. Somebody was waiting for someone to make up their mind. Uh huh. Yeah, somebody was waiting for somebody to make up their mind. Why is the page of swords here? The six of cups. Okay, children could be involved, um, but this person is definitely reminiscing and thinking about the past, okay? All right, somebody left somebody out in the cold or did somebody wrong. Yeah, somebody was a player, okay? See, we got the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands, okay? Somebody played somebody here. Some They might have played you, okay, and left you out in the cold. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. So now they're going through this awakening. Okay. Like I said, I feel like this is karmic energy. They could have been dealing with the karmic. Um, but I'm feeling like justice is being served. Okay. Why is judgment here? Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups revealed herself twice here. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. But I feel like they're tired of the back and forth. Okay, they're tired of living a double life. I'm feeling like someone here could have been living a double life. Um, they did try to get over. They did try to get over with the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. I'm getting Cancer. It's Cancer's energy and Pisces is energy as well. <gasps> Excuse me, guys. Oh, but they are worried. Okay, so... We got the moon and the nine of swords. At night, this person thinks of you. Okay, this person thinks of you, but they are stressing out. Like, this person is worried, okay, on how this is going to move forward, how to move forward. They're worried, okay? And they know that they need to work on themselves. Some of them have, like, started or want to start a business or, you know, are, is working diligently. This person knows that they have to bring something to the table here, okay? And they are working towards that. I definitely can see that. Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, you know? I feel like this person had to walk away or you walked away. From I'm feeling like the love of their the love of their life. Like you're the love of their life. Okay. Wow. Why is the Queen of Cups here? This is very loving energy. This person realizes that they love you. This person realized that it did take them a long time to come towards you. Um, but the truth of the matter is, okay, so I feel like this person has done a, some soul searching. This person has done some soul searching. Okay, searching for their truth. Um, they they went soul searching and they realized that they want to be with you. The two of cups and a the hierophant. They want a higher level of commitment with you. They want a bond with you. 
they want you to trust them. Like, I'm just getting, like, whatever this is, this is, like, a 360. Because I feel like this person before was giving you this energy. Five of Swords. This person was giving you hell. Could have had you in third-party situations. But I'm getting that there's an apology here with the Three of Swords and the Page of Wands. Queen of Wands, definitely there could have been a Leo Sagittarius Aries involved. I saw the Strength card, Leo's energy. Um, but yeah, like, I, I feel like this person wants, they realize that they want to be with you. For some of you, this is a marriage here with this Hierophant. Or they want to take things to the next level. Yeah, they, they feel like it's worth it. It's worth investing in. We got the Seven of Pentacles and the Empress, Okay. This person just isn't sure that you want them. But they do want to tell you that they're sorry. Okay, Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands, Five of Cups, and the King of Cups. Yeah. Something made this person think about how they betrayed you. Okay? And, wow. this They, they had a wake-up call. They had some type of epiphany, some type of wake-up call. Uh, something with their karmic like it's, it's something like there's been a shift okay why is the high priestess here high priestess is pisces is energy cancer energy as well but this is being intuitive okay I'm getting lots of threes here. Somebody knew that there was a third party involved. Somebody told somebody that there was a third party involved. Okay, because I got the Page of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Three of Cups. So somebody knew that there was other people involved. Why is the Three of Cups here? King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but they didn't want these offers with the Death card and the Four of Cups and the Knight of Cups. They did not accept the offers. This person may have had a third party or even a little more going on, but they didn't accept the offer. Four of Cups is saying, uh-uh, I'm good. I don't want that cup. I don't, I'm, I'm not good. The Knight of Cups is an offer. Not accepting this offer and a death card is like a no. You know, no, I'm good. I'm good. Not what he was looking for. This was not what this person was looking for. They were not what this person was looking for. Somebody could have been really spiteful or jealous um, and mad over this truth that was spoken. We got the temperance, Sagittarius energy, as well as strength, which is Leo's energy. Somebody told somebody that they had to make up their mind. Okay, seven of cups. Somebody had a, this person had a lot of options. Okay, I'm getting, I choose you. I got all these other options, but I'm going with, <laughs> I'm going with you. Will you take me back? <laughs> Will you take me back? Yeah, see, they moved on from this person. Six of Swords and the Queen of Wands, they moved on from this person. Definitely could have been a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, because they realized that this person and this situation was holding them back. Okay, was holding them back. And they needed to make a decision. They was getting tired of the lie, the fakeness. They were getting tired of, of you know, just tired of it all. So this person really went, yeah, see, they're going to try to move forward. They're working on, on moving forward Mhm. Mm because they were stressed. This situation that they were going through got them stressed out for sure, for sure. Okay. All right. So let's see how you view this person. interesting y'all go ahead and hit the like the like button the thumbs up if this message resonating is resonating with you so far 
All right. So let's see how you, you're viewing this person. All right. Let's do it. Okay, so we got true love. All right, so you feel like this person is your true love. You love this person. You too. Genuinely, authentically. How does my collective feel about this person? That person. Well, that wanted to come out. We got the Six of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we got the Temperance. And the Queen of Pentacles. I'm getting like you. I feel like you. Um, well, we got the Knight of Cups. Okay. And the Devil. This person could be asking you. You know. For things. <laughs> could be sexual things. Could be pictures, videos. Um, yeah, this person is communicating with you and it makes you start to reminisce with the six of cups. This person is coming to you, uh, worried and stressed. Okay. With the moon and the nine of swords again. And this person wants a commitment here with the hierophant. They want to do the right thing. Yeah, with the King of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So they, they're they wanting you to sh uh, be passionate, show passion. Um, and I feel like you, you, you are okay with giving that. Because I do see with the Six of Pentacles, this is give and take. The Temperance is finding that balance and healing a situation, Queen of Pentacles. You may have been giving this person... Um, money or something that is tangible um but i do feel like you're giving this person some support the six of pentacles and the temperance card really gives me supportive energy as well as combining all three of these together this is giving me like you know financial uh security um uh spiritual spiritual uh stability um i'm just getting like you're giving that person that support I do want to see why the Six of Pentacles is here. We got the Sun card, which is Leo's energy, and the Knight of Swords want to jump out. I feel like you are happy that this person has um, has come come back to you in this way. Um, I feel like you feel like justice is being served. Okay. There could be a Libra involved. Yeah, see, this person is expressing their feelings. I got the Page of Cups, King of Cups, King of Pentacles. So this person is expressing their feelings. Okay, Page of Cups and the King of Cups says it all. This person is expressing their feelings. Okay, telling you how they feel. Like they're pouring their feelings out. Okay. This You feel like this person is you know planning on you know wanting to work this out with the three of pentacles for some of you this is a marriage that someone walked out on with the ten of pentacles and the eight of cups but like i said you genuinely love this person you love them you love this person why is the knight of swords here Yeah, the high priestess and the emperor. Lots of major iconas here, but these two look really good together. You may be the high priestess, and you're helping evolve this person to the emperor. Okay, the emperor is Aries' energy, but your intuition is telling you that this person is, you know, has grown. Okay. Yeah, for some of you, there was a separation or a divorce. I got the Death card, Four of Wands, and the uh, Ten of Cups, okay? Death card is saying that there's been a transformation or some type of ending. 
but I feel like this is more of a transformation. I'm getting that this is a transformation. This could person could very much so be your twin flame. And I'm going to pull a few twin flame cards and this ten of cups. Like this is the energy that you want with this person. You want this ten of cups and this four of wands with this person. Okay, you want that. I'm getting like a husband. Why is the emperor here? The emperor is very much so the devil. Okay, the devil, Capricorn's energy. This person could have like be very controlling. You may know that this person is very controlling, like obsessive, possessive, you know, controlling. Why is the devil here? Okay, the Eight of Cups. And this could be why you walked away. So I'm getting that some of you, you guys walked away. Okay? I feel like you um, you put a lot into this. Okay, you there could have been um, you walked away but due to financial issues. Okay, because I got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. There could have been a very much so, like somebody is being very aggressive with the uh, Seven of Wands. I'm getting too aggressive, too controlling, too overbearing. And I feel like that's why you walked away. For like I said, for some of you, you there was this was a marriage or you lived with this person or you were with them for quite some time. I'm hearing like four years or something, uh, you know, I'm getting like four between uh, two and four years. Okay. Why is the eight of cups here? Yeah, you yeah. You had the courage to walk away. You you found the courage to walk away. Somebody uh walked away and I'm feeling like either it was their, them who walked away and now you're looking at this as like a kind of getting like a blessing in disguise. But I I'm kind of getting like you walked away. You had the courage to walk away. Yeah. See, the 7 of cups. This is a decision to leave for some of you this was a decision to move to another um home and move out of town but i'm getting like you decided to leave this person because this person was super controlling they were overbearing they were negative at times too aggressive there may have been issues in regards to like you know stability what was the temperance card here temperance Okay, we got the Page of Pentacles, all right, and the Four of Swords. So I feel like you are very calm at this point. Like, I'm, I'm getting like you're sitting back listening to this person. We got the Ten of Pentacles again. I'm getting kind of like there was a separation. Four of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Um... This person could be bringing, like, talking about the past. Like, they're sending you down memory lane. And I'm getting, like, I can just envision you just sitting back and listening. Listening to this person talk on the phone. Like, listening to the word, to their words. Like, listening, just sitting back. Why is the four swords here? You're tired of, of, of the aggression and bickering and back and forth with this person anyway. Okay? You're tired of that anyway. You just want this person to love you. You just want this person to show you affection, okay? You're just, I feel like the judgment and the lovers is definitely like a second go around, a second chance at a situation. What are the odds that the will of fortune would come right behind that? Three major outcomes here. This is something that's really, really big. So this is something that you possibly have prayed on. You you manifested this. This is something that you wanted. And now I feel like it's happening for you. And I feel like this is the chance of a lifetime to bring this back together. I definitely do feel like the universe is conspiring to bring you two back together. See, we got the eight of pentacles. Like I said, like someone's putting in the effort. You feel like this person is putting in the effort to show you how they feel with the queen of cups. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Yeah, we got the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Swords. 
Okay, so I feel like you are very, um, you know, financially you're doing fine. Um, I feel like you're taking care of, of what you need to take care of on your end. You're good. Okay, I feel like you may have a few different options as well. Okay, I feel like during uh, you guys' break period from each other, you got some options as well. You got some options as well, okay? Um, I'm getting that kind of waiting to see what this person is going to say. Um, if you were to tell them this truth, that you have some options, two of pentacles, yeah. I feel like you got some, and you, not only are there just options, you got some good op, you got some good offers with the ace of pentacles, okay? And now you're like, do I want to drop this to be with this person, with my twin flame, my soulmate? Why is the Ace of Swords here? I mean, it's clear. Why is the Ace of Swords? Oh, okay. The Empress and the Six of Wands. Very beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy. Now, this could be you um, looking at this situation like, you know, um, I've grown from this situation. I'm getting like a very successful, like I'm getting like you're very successful financially as well. And this person sees that, you may feel like, oh, you see that I'm doing good. Okay. So yeah, after we broke up, after the breakup, three of swords and a two of cups. Now you want to show me that you regret this. Okay. You're shocked. You're surprised. Okay. Because you thought this chapter was closed. Okay, now they're saying that they want to, you know, work things out. They may be making plans with you and they're showing their, their emotions and their feelings. Okay, so you're looking at it like you would want to come back after you, you know, all of this is over and I'm doing well, I'm doing good. Okay, so what are your intentions? Okay, because look, when I left, I love and bettered myself. What did you accomplish? The six of wands here. Yeah. yeah, the judgment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If they didn't see it then, they didn't see it now. Mm-hmm. The Queen of Cups keeps revealing herself. As well as the tower here, the um, strength card too. And that tower. Yeah, like you're surprised that this person is back. You're surprised that they remember these details that they're telling you about the past. Um, you may have felt like this person tried to replace you. Tried to duplicate you. <laughs> Tried to find a replacement. Did it work? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> it doesn't look like it at all. <laughs> it does not look like it at all. Let's see what messages they have for you. Alright, so what messages do we have for my collective how do they feel about the collective what message do they have give me three cards please all right give me three cards thank you all right so yeah your person is very stuck <laughs> your person is very much stuck okay they're stuck in between a rock and a hard place right now and it could be involving family. Family could have a say-so in this situation. See, we got destruction and regret. See, yeah. See, your person is definitely, yeah. They got an offer for you as well, too. And they're hoping that you say yes. But I feel like your person is stuck um, because they are going through, uh, oh, we got family and destruction. Like, either looking at the fact that you guys were a family and it's, it's kind of like in, you know, in shambles, pretty much, okay? 
But then they're looking back at the situation with so much regret. Like they're looking back at the situation like, damn, you know, I messed this up. I messed up. I really messed this up. I messed this up. Then we got release, okay? And it's in the reverse. They can't let you go. They can't let you go. They're asking for understanding. They want you to understand where they're coming from. And we got conclusion in the reverse. So it's like they, this chapter isn't over. It's, it's not over. It's not over to them. It's just not. They aren't over it. They aren't ready to close this chapter. Why is release here? Yeah, see, oh, this person loves you. This person flat out, they're, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're telling you, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure, with the Knight of Cups, they have an offer or they have something that they want to say to you. The King of Cups and the Lovers. This person is pouring their heart out. Like, they're expressing to you how they really, truly feel. These are genuine feelings, and it's real, okay? It's very much so real. King of Cups and the Lovers is very much so real. This person is not ready to release you. This person does not want to see you with anybody else. This person, that's that's where they are, okay? And I'm telling you right now, like, this person is telling you, telling you things that they regret, okay? They're going to tell you how bad they feel about something that they did while they were quote unquote single, okay? They did some things, y'all. They did some things. They're gonna tell you straightforward, like King of Swords and the Knight of Cups. They're gonna tell you, but they it took them a while. They finally came to this conclusion, like they had an awakening. They had an awakening. They really did. Understanding, mine's understanding here. They want you to understand their frustration, okay? They, I feel like there's something that they want you to understand, okay? They were pressured or feeling pressured um, or having some type of um, situation that was bugging them, okay? I'm getting that they was a part of some type of grand scheme the nine of pentacles and the six of wands like they were getting lots and lots and lots of attention and i feel like they are wanting you to understand where they're coming from i feel like they were they felt pressure um they were in the limelight or in the spotlight um here why is understanding here yeah see Somebody's waiting on somebody's downfall with that tower. Somebody, okay, this, somebody knew that, they knew it was going to come to this. They knew it was going to come to this. Okay, so they want you to understand their point of view, understand where they're coming from. Empress. Yeah, that six of wands keeps wanting to reveal itself, okay? Um, someone's mother could be involved or someone, some, it's something like a prize to be won or someone was a better, a better catch with the Empress and the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands and the Empress here? They might have thought the grass was greener and I'm getting, wait till I'm done. Wait till I'm done. Why is the Four of Swords here? Yep. They didn't know how to explain this to you, so they were going to wait until this was all over with. Okay, so we got the Six of Swords. Yeah, they were worried about telling you. Like, they didn't know how to tell you this. They didn't know how to tell you that. But I'm feeling like your person thought that the grass is greener, and it was definitely not. Conclusion in the reverse. Why is conclusion in reverse here? The Nine of Pentacles. Now, I feel like this person is alone. Um, somebody here is starting drama. They may have an unfinished business with someone. With the strength card, um, could be a Leo. 
Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Five of Swords. Somebody's not too happy because they have unfinished business. Okay, I'm feeling like they may have some unfinished business with somebody that they were juggling. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Page of Wands. Okay. Yeah. Why is this why is the Five of Swords and the Strength card here? Four of Pentacles. This person that they were dealing with is still holding on to them. Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody did not. This person did not accept somebody's offer in the Knight of Cups. This pissed this person off that their offer was not the person your person didn't accept their offer this person is still holding on to them this person wants to work things out with your person why is the five of swords here why is the five of swords here this person likes to start drama why is the five of swords here yeah see i told you it's a third party they like to start drama. And they're hoping, yeah. See, they're hoping that they could, could shift this, change this energy. Like, they're hoping to change your person's mind, okay? But your person, I feel like your person is done with them. Ten of Swords. And done with the games, with the Seven of Swords. Like, they don't they don't want this. Why the Seven of Swords? Telling lies. Yeah, they're done telling lies. Why the Eight of Wands here? The Empress. And the Knight of Cups and the Devil and the King of Swords. Once again, Queen of Cups still here. Like I said, I feel like your person is going to tell this person straight up. Look, it is what it is. Give me more information. High Priestess. Yeah, the same cards are coming out. The same cards are coming out. Yep. Yep. So let's get some info. Let's get some info on um, this third party. I feel like your person wants you to understand come look at things from their point of view and what they went through cuz in their mind I feel like they they feel like they were single and it was okay for them to treat you the way that they did or behave the way they did okay so let's see how what this other person is up to the third party show me third party's energy show me third party's energy expectation change message at the bottom of the deck we got false person like i said um yeah this person is very much so a false person okay like i feel like their intentions are to come in and stir things um yeah see look we got poverty okay yeah see we got poverty and despair okay so your person could be in this energy okay and i'm just saying this is not for everybody everybody isn't going through financial issues but this is the way that the story is coming out to me okay your person could be going through this type of energy poverty and despair this false ass person um is using that we got great fortune and toil and labor. They may have a great job, okay? Great fortune, toil and labor. So they have a good job. They're expecting for your person to reach out to them, okay? They're expecting for your person to reach out to them. I want to see why expectation is here. They're using that. They're using that energy to keep your person around. Why is expectation here?
Okay. This person... This person got tired of this person, like, moving so slow. Um, They wanted a relationship. Ten of Cups. They, this is what they wanted. I don't think that they got that. I think what actually happened is the situation ended. Okay? Um, and I feel like this pissed them off. This pissed them off off five of swords this person is petty this person is would do anything to win this person is you know likes to stir up drama yeah see they i feel like they may have been splitting money with your person or going half and half or i'm getting like this is family like with the temperance and the ten of pentacles this person possibly is like um you know in good with the family okay because i got the emperor card here which is the father card And they think money solves solves the issue. Why is change here? Okay. They feel like your person. Um, it's always bringing up the past. Um, so they were feeling like that your person hasn't closed the chapter with the past. They were feeling like the truth is that your person actually is in love with you. Because they found out the truth. Okay. Strength card. Leo's energy. The Ten of Wands. I feel like this person felt burnt out by the situation. Um... You know, because I feel like they were possibly putting in putting in on this person to like invest in, in your person. Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, but I'm getting like there was very like back and forth energy. They may have was waiting to see if you were gonna go back, if they were gonna come back to you. I feel like they were trying to change their mind, change your person's mind. That's why the King of Swords came out. Why is change here? Tower. Strength. The strength keeps revealing itself. Yeah, they were so surprised with your decision. Like, they were surprised at, at this. Okay, like, yeah, because they were wanting to make things official. The Magician, the Two of Cups, and the Six of Wands. And the Judgment, finally making something official. So they were surprised with your decision. And they were trying to change your mind. Or they're going to try to change your mind. Why is message here? This person is going to reach out to you. Uh, apologizing. Possibly even crying. Offering you money. With the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. They're going to be offering your person money. They're going to be offering them gifts. Going to be asking them. Is there anything that you need? Anything that I can do? You know. The, like I said. The Knight of Cups is an offer. And the Queen of Pentacles. You know. She's financially secure. She likes gifts. She likes money. She likes that pentacle. Okay. You're going to be getting these type of messages from this person. Could be a Queen of Wands. Oh look at this. Queen of Wands and the Five of Swords. Yeah. This person is doing this out of spite. This person is doing this out of spite. Okay. They're doing this out of spite because they know they have the power to do it. We got the Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles. This is a very powerful person. They're powerful. They're abusing their power because they feel like they can. And it's because they feel like what is more beneficial to your person would be to give them uh, things of gifts and uh, money and things of that nature. Okay. Wow. And I think this energy came out again. I think this energy came out on the last read. Like, this person is doing this out of spite. But see, they what they're not realizing is that when it's true love, you're going to you're gonna have to come with it. I mean, some people go for money over, over real love, okay? Some people do that. But, I mean, it is what it is. We'll see what the angels have to say. After we see this, okay, so let's see what your person wants to say to you. Ooh. I'm focused on work. 
And I also feel this is too. I feel like others are trying to tell me what to do. And I feel like this is why your, um, your person may feel a lot of pressure. Um, and they're also just kind of focusing on work, you know. I'm not stable right now, so let me fix this. And your person is also at a crossroad, and they're choosing what path to take. Okay, give me one more card. What do they want to say? I'm affected by cosmic and collective energies. Okay, so I feel definitely feel like this is a big awakening. Like your person is going through a massive awakening, and I feel like that's what it is. Now we're going to look and see what the angels have to say. And I'm going to let you guys go. All right. So um, let's get advice. Leave me advice. And um, let, let's see. Advice. Just give me advice. Advice. Advice for. Give me advice. Listen to your intuition. The answer is yes. Abundant. Okay. Of course I want to clarify. Listen to your intuition. If your intuition, I feel like you're uncertain about this person. I feel like you're uncertain and you're not sure which direction to take in this situation. You're not sure if, if you want to close this chapter or if you're not sure, you know, I feel like, you know, you love this person. You know that you feel like this person is your soulmate. Um, but I feel like you're not certain that this person is telling the truth. I feel like this person is telling you the truth. They're coming to you with your, you know, expressing like pouring their heart out um, and telling you that how bad they feel about how things went down. Um, yeah, I'm getting like a mental breakdown, to be honest. The King of Swords and the Ten of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. So somebody is very conflicted. Okay. So why is the Two of Swords here? Listen to your intuition. That's the only thing. Yeah. See, you're not sure if you and this person are going to be together or if this is real. Like, I feel like you're uncertain. I feel like you you know that you want this with this person, but you're just like, okay, it took you a long time to get to this place. And the four of wands, okay. Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Okay. Why is yes here? The Empress. And the Knight of Cups. <laughs> I feel like this person is coming to you with a, some type of offer. Yeah. Telling the truth. I'm telling you. Ace of Swords. Knight of Cups. I feel like this person is telling you the truth. Okay, we got the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, you were waiting on this person to give you an offer anyway. I feel like it. I feel like um, you possibly were still holding on to hope for this, for this situation. But I do feel like this person adores you. This person looks up to you. Like, they, they think you're very beautiful. Like, they, I feel like they really genuinely do care. Why is abundance here? Look at this. Stability. Stability. Long-term stability. Twin flame energy. Marriage. Okay, this is the marriage card. And stability. I feel like this is something that Spirit is saying this is something that could be attainable. I feel, but like I said, I do feel like you guys have went through a separation period, Okay. Four of Swords and Three of Swords is definitely a separation period. Okay, so I feel like you guys had some time apart from each other. For some of you, this is definitely like a husband with the Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, someone who's very much so like the provider of the family. I'm getting that as well too. Um, I do feel like there is some spiteful, nasty people out to ruin this uh, connection, this bond between you two. Um, but I feel like you guys are very stable when it comes to your emotions and how y'all feel about each other. Yeah, see, this person, I feel like this person, both of you want to work on this situation, building together, building something solid, okay, for years and years to come. Because what, what this is saying to me is that this situation can be built 
and worked on and it could possibly bring in some coins some abundance some some long-term energy okay somebody's done with the ten of wands somebody's done and they want this ten of cups yeah this person is going to tell you how they feel i I, if this person hasn't came to you and told you how they feel, they are getting ready to. I feel like this person is very depressed at this time with the Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Lots of swords. Lots of swords. And I feel like with the Ten of Cups, this person may have told you, you know, the Page of Swords is the spy card, but this is also communication. I feel like this person is expressing to you, um, you know, I'm getting like depressed energy that they may be depressed or sad or just kind of like not in a good place mentally or emotionally. Um, they may want to come back together and connect with you and bond with you. Um, you're possibly like that person's um, safe haven. Yeah, see the Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, they feel like this is their chance to express themselves to you. Yeah, because they're worried. They're worried that you that you moved on. Yep, found another man. <laughs> All right, so this is their chance to come back towards you. So they're taking they're taking the opportunity. To come back towards you at this time. And I feel like this person did do a lot of messed up things in the past. But, you know, that's up to you to figure out if this person is worth... It depends on how bad it is, you know? How bad is it? Is it something that you could forgive this person for and move on and be friends? Is this something that you want to work on? Is this something that you even, you know, care about or want to be in? The choice is most definitely yours. It's definitely up to you. You're going to have to... You know handle the situation accordingly but i do feel like you know they're going to come and express to you how they feel <laughs> okay all right so like i said guys if you guys are interested in booking your very own personal read that information is going to be in the drop box below you can contact me via email um to get you set up all right so until next time my loves ciao for now